lucky. I had uh, won a House seat in the State House uh, at age 29. Uh, and I'd served six years, then I ran for Attorney General, which is a statewide office, and I won that. Uh, then I ran for Lieutenant Governor, and I won that. So at 43 now, I'm ready to run for Governor. And you know, I'd sort of been pointing toward this uh, all my adult life, and so I ran and I lost. I didn't just lose, I, I lost. I was third in a five-way race, and uh, uh, quite honestly, I was just devastated. You know, you, you point toward something all your life and then you lose, and you not only lose, but you lose in front of four million people. And uh, that's, that's quite a blow to your ego. Uh, and it was at that time that I came across uh, a quotation from Teddy Roosevelt. Roosevelt had given a speech in Paris, France, I think in 1910. And it's now a famous quote, but it's called The Man in the Arena. And it paraphrased basically says, you know, it's not the critic who counts, it's the person that's actually in the arena and whose face is covered by blood, sweat, and dust, and who is striving valiantly. And uh, if in the end he succeeds, at most uh, he gets the triumph of high achievement. But uh, if he fails, he at least fails while daring greatly. And in either event, he will never be among those who are sitting on the sidelines and uh, know neither success nor failure. So that was, that was kind of a consolation prize, I guess. Uh